Welcome back to the AB Scale Project. I'm Krager and this is Alpha Bravo. And starting off with the G2 Mirage. And he looks very 90s, very, very neon. Now, for the most part, I've I avoided the G2 repaints because they were, you know, just repaints that people already had. I bought the Toxitron. That's about it because it was a new character. The rest of these are just the same character, just neon colors. So this is the Earthrise mold, hence no shoulder attachment for the missile. Kind of have to put it in the back of the shoulder. That's not very deep. So that's pretty much the best it can do. That's why I still like the Siege version better. But yeah, really not much to say. Uh, there's a lot more details in the vehicle mode. So uh, let's look at the vehicle mode. And here we have the G2 Mirage in his race car mode. It's the same as the Earthrise. So it looks, you know, just like the Indy cars. Uh, I'm really having trouble with mine. <clears throat> excuse me. Holding together. It doesn't uh, like to set as well as the regular. I do like the extra little crocodile patterns and... All these little pock marks on there. So it's got some neat stuff. They actually did do the uh, G2 Autobot symbol there on the front. So got a little bit in there. But otherwise, it's the same as the Earthrise. Rolls well. Uh, yeah, just has some trouble getting it to all uh, tab together. But yeah, not really a lot to say about it. Just like the Earthrise, just uh, pink and green. Yep. All right, let's go to our final decision. So is this our new Mirage? No, and it's much too bright to be a shattered glass. So uh, yeah, it's pretty much just a novelty. That's pretty much what this G2 line was, just novelty. It's neat if you wanted to collect the whole set just to have the unreleased decos of G2, then yeah, it's great. But otherwise, uh, don't really need to pick it up. I just picked it up because all the G2 is at Walmart went on clearance. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the next one. Next up, we got Grimlock. And this is the unreleased yellow tiger stripe <laughs> Tyrannosaurus remake. Again, the neon colors. And they put the Autobot symbol on top because they planned on doing this little thing in the middle. But yeah, uh, one thing about this one versus the original, the plastic seems cheaper. Like this almost feels like a PVC knockoff quality plastic. So it's not great. And of course you don't get the wheelie with this. So you lost a little bit of value there that they charge the same liter price for. So in the original incarnation, I don't really think it'd be worth it. Uh, I mean, it might be worth it to swap this with the shield with the original Grimlock so you can see the Autobot symbol behind it. I'll bring it in here and you can see that the Autobot mold is still behind there. They just covered it with the tampograph on the front. But yeah, it's a yellow Grimlock. Kind of wish they'd done the blue, but the blue was released, but the blue looks really good. But we got this one because they never released it. Anyway, let's look at the dyno mode. And here we have G2 Grimlock in his dyno mode. You can see those tiger stripes a lot better back there. Kind of wish they'd continued the theme more up the body. I mean, maybe a little on the arms, a little on these chest pieces, something. Now he's just striped tailed Tyrannosaurus. Uh, everything is the same. The arms move the same. The mouth is the same. He's missing his front teeth the same. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's just a just a repaint. The gun stores the same. Uh, orange transparency around the neck to match the orange transparency on the front. Uh, yeah, not that much. Again, the plastic just feels cheap. I mean, yeah. Anyway, uh, no symbol here. That was a probably missed opportunity to put the uh, G two Autobot symbol here. But yeah. In the claws move in and out. He has the extra reversal joint. Uh, yeah. Same as the Studio Series 86. Just teal and yellow with a splash of orange. 
Yeah. All right. Let's get to our final conclusion. So is this our new IDW G1 Grimlock? No, like Mirage, it's just a color gimmick. Uh, there's already a shattered glass version of this mold out, so there's no point in trying to wedge it into a shattered glass roll. Uh, I did pick this up on clearance, but it wasn't as much clearance as the Mirage, and I kind of wish I'd waited a little bit longer for it to go a little bit cheaper just because the plastic quality and the fact that I'm probably not going to display it, honestly. Uh, yeah, not really worth it. I, I, overall, it is still the Studio Series 86 Grimlock mold, so it's still a really nice mold. If you don't have a Grimlock, I mean, it's worth it for that, but I'd recommend the Studio Series 86 or the Shattered Glass over getting the G2 if you have the means. Anyway, let's wrap this up. And that's it for the day. Thank you for joining us today on the AB Scale Project. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, ring that bell, and I'll see y'all later. <laughs>